In terms of disaster risk management, the Caribbean region faces huge challenges. We face several hazards, so we have to know the risk that the human population faces. How do we help to build resilience or be able to predict the occurrence of some of these things in the future? Historically, some of the, the problems both here in the Caribbean and many other places in the world is the accessibility of information. More often than not, the major problem is we have limited data. Often when the data is there, it's a very poor quality, very low resolution. And lastly, there's often a lot of political issues. There's often problems with data accessibility and data availability. This feeling that data should be treated as a national asset, whereby all organizations within the country could have access to this information to make more informed decisions. In other words, mitigate, plan for, respond to some of these occurrences. Welcome all you guys. This week we're participating in a advanced training on spatial data management. Having that relevant and up-to-date data would be able to help governments and various disaster response agencies better plan for and better distribute the limited resources. So those resources could now be targeted in the areas that are, would be most susceptible the Global Facility for Disaster Risk Reduction and Recovery is promoting an open data policy for resilience initiative. Special data, critical in decision making, should be available in cases like emergencies and disasters and should remain open. The success of this training is by giving tools that people can immediately use. It's all free to use and free to download from the internet. One of the things that will make us more resilient to natural disasters is the use of such open source tools. The open source movement is one of the most important movements of our generation because it allows the people to be able to leverage the technology to make a meaningful difference in their community. 